Hi, I'm Sever from Honor Plugins, and I wanted to show you our latest plugin uh, that is uh, another emulation of a vintage compressor. This time we made the um, 160 compressor made by famous brand that specialized in RMS compression through VCAs. Um, this is a, a pretty peculiar compressor since it doesn't have any attack or release time, and the attack and release is uh, completely dependent on the transients of your audio uh, as, uh, as if the audio has a lot of transients the attack release gets faster while if there is a, a smoother sound going in they, they get slower so it's a pretty program dependent compressor but it's a feed forward design so you can get it to pump quite easily if you want also it doesn't work on peak material but it works on the RMS value of the material so it's a, a smoother compressor than you would have if if uh, you uh, we have used the peak uh, detector I won't talk anymore and I'll show you the UI of the plugin and of course since the sound uh, is fairly well known I will focus on our feature that make this compressor easier to use than uh, the others of our competitors. So I will jump into the guy now. Here we are. This is uh, the interface of the plugin. On the upper side, we have a, a, a reproduction of the hardware um, user interface. We got the below and above LEDs for the threshold that shows you if the signal is above or below um, the, the given threshold, which defaults to zero dBs. Uh, so it's not working uh, by default. Then we have the compression amount, which is, is uh, in fact a ratio control. So you can adjust it from one, no compression at all, to 20, which is the highest compression and uh, actually works as a limiter. Uh, then we have the output gain control to adjust the output level uh, according to the compression we have uh, made. Uh, then we have uh, the switch to enable or disable the compression circuit, but leaving in the analog emulation. So you have the analog front end working and all the analog is and the analog uh, output working and all the analog emulation is completely on, but you don't have compression happening. Then you have these switches here that allows you to um, use the view meter as input meter, output meter, or gain reduction meter as in the original hardware unit. On the part here below, we have added our controls. We have the input trim and output trim that can be linked together so that any change in the input trim is reflected uh, to the output so you keep your level constant. Then you have your trim target, uh, 0 VU, 1 VU, 2 VU, 3 VU, and the auto trim button that enables uh, the, the auto trim algorithm that sets automatically the input for you. Uh, then we have the, out, the target gain reduction that we want to achieve. By default, it's set to negative 5 dBs. And we have the auto gain reduction switch that enables the algorithm that automatically sets the threshold so you, gain, you get the gain reduction you want. Then we have a dry wet knob that allow us uh, to create parallel compression, uh, dialing some of the original dry sound. Then we have the oversample control uh, that by default is set to auto, which uh, choose an oversample value according to your sample rate so that the processor uh, always have enough headroom, uh, bandwidth, sorry, to work with. Um, but you can choose between two, four, or eight time of sampling. Then we have a bypass switch, which completely excludes the processing, uh, so it also excludes analog emulation and all the input and output trim, everything. Uh, we have the analog switch, which uh, enables the analog saturation emulation, and we have the hiss switch, which enables the analog hiss, and the auto makeup switch, which automatically adjusts the output gain knob uh, to make up for the gain loss uh, with, um, with the compression. Uh, now, of course, we also have a load and save buttons for presets. Now, I will uh, fire up a snare track 
where I've put this on, and I try to adjust this using the manual way and then the completely automatic way. So I'll first set the view meter as an input and press play and adjust the input trim. So I pick around here, which is a nice uh, level for analog uh, emulated gear uh, because we get some crack for this from the circuit. So just let me adjust this. Okay, maybe too much around here it's fine then we will choose our compression level let's say I want a ratio of 4 and uh, using the gain change meter I will reach for my gain reduction target which is around 5 dBs Here we are. And then using the output meter, I will use the output gain to set the output level accordingly. We are almost there, maybe a little bit too much gain. So this is our dry signal and this is the compressed one. Well, with this uh, light compression it works pretty well but we can go heavier and hear more of the effect of the compressor. Now it's more audible the effect, it's definitely sucking out the snare when it hits hard. To reach this target I haven't worked with the threshold, I have set the threshold as the level uh, I want to just uh, have the signal above it uh, when the snare hits. Uh, it's displayed by these LEDs and then I use this compression knob which is the ratio to uh, lower down the level of the snare once uh, uh, it crosses the threshold so I get more compression at the right level. If I would do I would like to do it completely automatically without knowing anything about compression which compressor is pretty easy to use but I can do it completely on autopilot so I will start with my compression ratio of 4 and I will let it adjust the input so I get plus 3 VU and of course I'm gonna adjust the output trim automatically. Okay, so now that I have adjusted the input and output trim, I can say I want 5 dBs of compression and let the auto gain reduction algorithm adjust the threshold for me. So, um, quite easily, I have set the compressor uh, almost automatically. And if I want more compression, I just have to keep on enabling the auto GR and setting a new target level. And then we'll adjust it for me.
and we got quite a little smack from the snare. Pretty good indeed. So this is Hornet H160 and is available right now on our website www.hornetplugins.com. There is a demo so you can download it and try it out. And of course, I want to hear what you think about it and if you like it, how you would use it. So drop a comment here below on YouTube or send us an email or any, any other way of commenting us. It's more than welcome. So thank you very much for watching this video.